What's up guys, back again for another video from the Command Center. And what I wanna talk about today is the future of radiology. Oftentimes I get asked about what I feel is the trajectory that radiology holds for the future. And, you know, I made a video in the past about the rise of artificial intelligence and I, you know, in that video expressed how I don't think artificial intelligence is ever gonna be able to replace radiology because to think that it can is a very narrow-minded approach to what exactly radiology is. A part of our job is diagnosis, diagnosis of disease, and the second part of the job is to put together the entire clinical picture. And that's why we go to medical school, and that's why radiology itself is a four-year residency. I mean, technically, it's a five-year residency with a prelim year, but it's a four-year residency for a reason. So our job is made up of two important pieces. We diagnose disease, and then we also put together a clinical picture for the ordering clinician to make decisions about not only um, diagnosis, but also treatment and management thereafter. And what is happening, honestly, is as radiology becomes more and more advanced and as technology becomes more and more advanced, there is a role for artificial intelligence. It's going to take care of some of the more minute and uh, some of the more demanding and minutia related aspects of being a radiologist. It's going to make those aspects easier. Now, secondly, as technology is getting better and as our CAT scans and MRI machines are becoming more and more advanced, we're able to see the human body down to like half a millimeter and when we have that much visual capability and the resolution becomes that much better the physical exam essentially starts to die down it's already starting to happen you know it's not worldwide yet you know there's a lot of countries where physical exam is still top notch and physical exam is practiced and taught at a very high level but unfortunately you know in countries like where i am i'm in the united states and some of the other countries, like I also trained in the United Kingdom, I went to medical school in the United Kingdom, physical exam is becoming less and less uh, prominent because we have imaging. And with imaging, not only do you diagnose what you can't see on physical exam, but then you can also get a broader picture. You can do a CAT scan of the abdomen and pelvis, and you'll be able to take a look at all various different pathologies that can happen in the abdomen and pelvis. So you're just able to get more information from uh, abdomen pelvis than you ever can through just a regular physical exam. And then you need highly trained individuals, highly trained physicians that are able to interpret these imaging studies and that's where radiology comes in. Secondly, you also have the rise of mid-level providers. And I have nothing against PAs, NPs, you know, quite frankly, we need them in medicine. But as you have the rise of these mid-level providers, these mid-level providers go to school and then they're right there on the front lines on the job. They don't have postgraduate training like the way medical doctors and physicians do. You know, like I mentioned before, radiology is a five-year residency. So that's five years of postgraduate training before you're individually taking care of patients. Now, it's true, yes, you're being overlooked by physicians. But still, the volume is high enough that sometimes, you know, things get overlooked. Sometimes, you know, NPs and PAs are practicing almost essentially independently. And because they have less experience, less clinical experience, you know, they order imaging more. And you're going to see that imaging gets ordered more when, uh, you know, these mid-level providers are there. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that they're inadequate, but I'm just saying that because they have less training as per the nature of their work, they have less postgraduate training, they're more likely to order more imaging studies. And then again, you need radiologists and you need highly trained physicians to be able to interpret those studies and put the entire clinical picture together. So really, at the end, what do I feel? I feel that you know radiology is not going anywhere. If anything, as technology gets more and more advanced, the field of radiology is only going to grow. And right now, I'm just talking about diagnostic radiology. I'm not even speaking about interventional radiology, which I really feel like is the future of medicine. But, you know, I can do a video about that at another time. But, you know, for those people who are afraid or might be second-guessing their decision of going into radiology, you know, don't fall for the hype. There's never going to be a time where you can't or there won't be a need for radiologists. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in radiology, you know, take a look at some of my other videos that I have on radiology and definitely, you know, consider it as an option to pursue. Um, if you have any other questions, you know, leave it in the comments down below. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time.